Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I'm bringing you a new device from Jabra. It's the Panacast 50. It's an AV soundbar. Stay tuned, I'll give you the lowdown. So today I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm giving you two perspectives of the Panacast 50. I'm giving you a view from my phone here so I can touch and feel the device. And I'm giving you the view from the Panacast 50 and the video and audio are, are being recorded on the device itself. So right, what is the Panacast 50? Well, as you can see, it's an audio and video soundbar. And what does that mean in real life? And where would you use it? So an AV soundbar is usually used in something like a meeting room. You would typically plug this thing into a Microsoft Teams room or a dedicated in-room PC, something like that, and actually use it for video, for audio out, and of, of course, microphones. So what's the Jabra Panic S50 all about? So as you see, it's an AV soundbar. It comes in two colors, including this gray color and a, a very dark kind of charcoal or black color. Uh, it's got cloth. Uh, kind of woven fabric over the top is as, uh, as is the popular kind of uh, trend these days. And right here you got the cameras. So as you can see, it's actually got not one but three cameras. And the reason it has three cameras, well, actually a couple of reasons. So one, it actually gives you up to a 180 degree field of view. Yes, that's half a circle if you remember anything from your geometry class. And why would you need a 180 degree field of view in a meeting room? So meeting room spaces are actually at a premium these days. Um, companies are actually squeezing in more meeting rooms where they didn't used to be. And a lot of businesses are actually transforming fairly small spaces. So you'd put in this kind of AV soundbar in a room where the table is actually potentially butted up against the, uh, the wall or the screen. Uh, this might be sitting actually on the table or mounted on the wall. And then what happens is if you've got people that are sitting right up close to the screen, that 180 degree field of view will be able to actually capture the people that are sitting closest to the actual screen itself and not lose any of the participants from the room. The other reason it has three cameras is it's got a little party piece. So when you plug this into a Microsoft Teams room, you can use it as the main camera for the device, which is all well and good. But the Panacast 50 has another party piece up its sleeve. It can actually use one of the lenses as a content camera and actually switch seamlessly from main camera to whiteboard camera and try and find that whiteboard in the room. Also, if you use the Jabra Direct software, you can actually train the thing to find the whiteboard, or it can always be found really easily. So the Panacast 50 is mains powered. Uh, as you'd expect, it's quite a big sound bar, big sound that comes out of it. It's actually got uh, tweeters and woofers built in. It's got eight beam forming microphones on the front to try and pick up the sound of the room. And then other than that, it's USB. You can also connect this to Ethernet and using the Jabra Direct software, you can actually connect the device up to the Jabra Express cloud management portal. So you actually need the Jabra Direct software, I think initially to set it up um, and actually paste the URL of your uh, instance of Jabra Express. But once that's actually connected, I think you can actually just get rid of the Jabra Direct software anyway. There are some advantages of have, having the Jabra Direct software. Uh, you can actually fine tune things. You can see a preview of the image. Um, you can change things like the field of view. So as I said, this has up to 180 degree field of view, but you can actually tune it down to 90 degree field of view. Maybe if you're using it for personal mode or maybe for narrower meeting rooms or a, a standard room where the table is further away, that kind of thing, you wouldn't want necessarily a 180 degree field of view if you didn't need to have it. So it's better to actually tune the thing uh, to suit the actual space you're gonna use it in. Panic S50 comes with this uh, kind of table stand, if you like, it's just connected at the back. It's quite a hefty stand, uh, really, really heavy, rubberized feet to keep it secure so it doesn't actually move around. It also comes in the box with this wall mount. It doesn't look like much, but this is all you need to actually mount the thing on the wall. It's got a little handy arrow there to show you which way is up. The screws go through the front and in through the back. And if you turn it to the side, you can see it's actually got a little spacer there. This serves two purposes. One, to keep it away from the wall, a little bit better for uh, keeping the cables away, but also this C-channel 
means that you can actually pop the cables in there for better cable management. Then all you need to do is just connect it using these little Allen key uh, things, I clip it on there, and it's wall mounted. So very, very small, but nifty and quite powerful wall mount. Panic S50 is certified for all popular meeting platforms, including Microsoft Teams. And whether you use it for Teams in a Teams room or actually Teams on your PC, there's a lot of smarts in the device. If you install the Jabra Direct software, you can actually enable things like the Virtual Director, which enables the device to do things like group framing, automated Zoom, um, speaker tracking, that kind of thing. And that's it for this video. Once again, I've been showing you the Jabra Panic S50. I'll bring you some more videos showing you the Director software, maybe the Jabra Express cloud application, and show you a few tricks that it has up its sleeve. As always, if this has been useful, I'd appreciate a like, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. I've got a lot of new videos coming up in the near future, and if you want to stay informed, go ahead and turn on notifications, and you'll be notified every time I've got a new video. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.